Hey there, I'm Sage Grayson, and today I'm going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself gratitude bullet journal. So we're gonna start out with a field notes journal, which is something that I give to my clients because it has a dot grid inside. So you can get that bullet journal feel without having to spend 30 or $40 on one of those expensive brand name bullet journals. I've also got tons of scrapbook paper, which I've cut up in advance. I've got these little post-it flags, my favorite washi tape, and some adhesive. So let's get right into it. First, I want to cover my journal because I'm not really into this black. So I'm gonna use scrapbook paper. So I put the adhesive all over the cover of the journal. And then I have this scrapbook paper, which is a nice yellow, great with my branding. And I just smush it down and then I cut off the excess. If you're a scrapbooker, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Sage, you waste so much paper. Yes, yes, I am wasting a little bit of paper, but it looks really good. So then I'm gonna do the other side with the same paper, just smush it down and cut off the extra. So it looks pretty nice, but I don't wanna just do the outside cover, I also want to do the inside covers. So I cover those with adhesive again, and then I have this pretty multicolored flower paper that I want on the inside. And again, just cutting off all of the paper that peeks out around the cover. If you really wanted to, you could save those scraps for something else, but I don't. And then once I've got the outside cover and the inside cover done, I wanna do something about the spine because I don't wanna keep that black color there that's from the original journal. So I use some thicker washi tape and I just press it into the spine. This is awesome because washi tape is flexible. So I'll still be able to open and close the journal. And there you go. So I wanna add something else to the cover. So I grabbed one of these scrapbooking cards that I think is really pretty and I just adhered it to the cover. So it says sweet things, which I think is appropriate for a gratitude journal. Now, if you notice, I have little post-it flags every so often within the journal. That's where I'm going to put these other colorful cards. I'm just evenly spacing them throughout the journal. I like this because it gives a pop of color and a nice quote and something else for me to look at every day as I'm flipping through, writing down the things that I'm grateful for. I made sure to choose images and quote cards that have my same colors in them, like the pinks and the yellows. So the whole gratitude journal looks really cohesive. But you can use any color scheme you want, any kind of paper or stickers that you want. I'm also putting in some smaller scrapbook cards, just tiny little flower images or little quotes. You've probably noticed that when I'm journaling or doing my planning or doing my bullet journals, I don't do a lot of doodling. Some people who do bullet journals just draw all over them. I'm not really a doodler, so I prefer using scrapbook paper or stickers or washi tape. So now what I'm doing with these post-it flags is I'm cutting them into like a pretty little flag pattern, and I'm gonna use these for the dates in my gratitude journal. So I stuck it on, but it wasn't really sticky. I mean, it's just a post-it note, so I did have to use the adhesive again. So I'm just taking these pink post-it flags, cutting the little triangle at the end to make them more decorative, and then sticking them at the top of the pages of my gratitude bullet journal so that I can write the dates in. So my bullet journal is large enough for me to have about a month, maybe just a little bit more than a month's worth of days. I have these great yellow stickers. They're just tiny little icons and I thought they would be perfect on the flags where I'm going to write the dates. So there's stars and arrows and little asterisks and exclamation points, super cute. I really like watching myself sped up like this because it feels like I'm being super productive. 
yeah, so I'm loving the way that this journal is looking. So now, my washi tape. You know I am absolutely obsessed with washi tape, especially this thin candy stripe washi tape. So I'm going through and just randomly putting the washi tape down. I'm alternating between the yellow and the pink, and sometimes I'm going across the whole page, sometimes I'm just taping it onto the quote images. I really like how it just gives it kind of like another pop of color. It looks so pretty and I'm really impressed with how this journal is coming out. So you can see the dot grid that's on the pages. It's not lined and it's not graph paper. It's a little dot grid. That's what most bullet journals have. And this is a nice small one so you can kind of get a taste of bullet journaling before you buy a larger one. Now I'm ready to actually use it. Here's another thing I love about dot grids. It makes my handwriting look really good. And here's the finished gratitude bullet journal. There's a lot of ways that you can make this your own use different kinds of scrapbook paper, maybe add some stickers, different colors that match your own color scheme. You can even put pictures in here too. And here's an example of a spread. I'm, I wrote down the things that I'm grateful for in my business and the things I'm grateful for in my life. I hope you enjoyed this do-it-yourself project. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe on YouTube. Then come on over to sagegrayson.com for more life editing tips.